It's the haunting hours with Kim on Mix FM. Hewlett House is located on Gray and Kennedy Streets in Hamilton on the corner of the roundabout. It's kind of like a monolith in Hamilton looking down Gray Street from the entrance of the residential area to the CBD. It was built in 1876 and funnily enough built by the same people who built Roxburgh House. This is a heritage listed site and something about it is a little bit spooky. If you go to Hewlett House, you'll notice that the main window facing out to Grey Street is boarded up with bricks. Harold had such a good insight into this story. I've heard a number of different stories. Ooh, really? And I looked into them. Yeah, and I found sort of the most likely one mm. uh, because there's always different ghost stories. Like how real they are, it doesn't really matter. They make a good story anyway, right? You love good stories. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, and you're right, that window is boarded up because that's where the ghost was appearing and they just had to... She was there too much, so they had to board it up. Didn't want to see her anymore. But I mm. really, look, I mean, there's been a number of deaths there, right? Okay. And the, f- the first owner died there, right, three years after he built the place. <laughs> It was actually an eight-week-old baby. It was in um, 1885. Uh, and she died there of convulsions. And the family, and it was a, a doctor and his wife lived there. Yeah. They then moved out just uh, up over the other side of, up the hill, on the other side of the footy ground. Oh, wow. Uh, so they moved away from the house. But that room that, that uh, was always seen, that's, that's now boarded up, that was looking straight down Grey Street with the morning sun. That was actually the nursery where the baby died. So, right, so, so what it appears likely mm. is that this is actually the mother who moved up the road, uh, up the hill, but she's actually never left. She's back in the in the in the uh, nursery, oh, mourning the death of that daughter, eight week old her, baby. Her baby, yeah. yeah. Well, considering it's kind of spooky, it is. Oh, it's just a little bit spooky. This is what I'm saying. Like I, I, I have always felt something about it, but not until, <laughs> not until I've. You know, looked into but it how, more. How, like, how, oh how good God. is that boarded up window? Because for mm-hmm. historians, that's a really exciting thing, boarded up windows. Because historically, like back in the day, and this is Victorian houses and in England and all that kind of stuff. When mm-hmm. you see brick in windows, you see back then, you know, the, the local council taxes were actually called yes. window taxes. Because the more windows you had, the more tax you paid. Yes. So people were filling in windows. Mm-hmm. So in England, you see it all the time, filled in windows. But in Hamilton, you see a filled in window. It wasn't to avoid tax, it was to avoid the ghost. The Haunting Hours with Kim continues soon on Mix FM.